Okay, Stevie, you're up. Let's show him how it's done. Nice job, Carol. You must have an excellent jumping coach. Yeah, except he's a humongous ego. <laughs> Great. Put me right after Carol. No pressure there or anything. Good luck, Stevie. Dad, stop it! You're totally embarrassing me. That's what dads are for. Check the manual. Dr. Judy, I didn't know you were coming. I was just checking on Delilah. So is she okay? Yes, fine. Routine exam. Looks like you've got a friend for life. Must keep you busy. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much live at the barn. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from my assistant. What? Your work study's been approved. For the next two weeks, you're a vet in training. Yes! <laughs> Sam's good. Slow down, Veronica. Ah! I said slow down. <laughs> Never want to see a stunt like that again, Veronica. I didn't mean to approach so fast, Max. It's a miracle you didn't break your neck. Or cobalts. Are we clear? Yeah. Call him out. He totally freaked on you. Don't worry. I can handle Max. <laughs> Hey, congratulations. The next Dr. Hanson, huh? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> ah, look what I dug up today. Come on. Now you have to go into the barn and stay there till you're better. Carol? I have to get dinner started. You ready for your first day, Carol? I can't wait. After seeing my mom take care of animals, it's like... I already know the job. 
You're so lucky. You get to spend all day taking care of puppies and kittens. Trust me. They're not so cute when they're throwing up all over you. <laughs> Ready to hit the road, Carol? You bet. Good luck. Break a... Actually, don't break anything. Fix something. <laughs> <laughs> Who's our first patient? You're looking at him. Right. I want you to climb in there with Norton and hold him still for me. Norton doesn't look like he wants any company. Dr. Judy Barker. Got a nice rhythm there, Sam. Keep that going. Pepper will try to race towards the jump. Your job is to hold him steady. What's he doing? I hope you don't mind sharing your lesson. Sam was sick last week, and this is the only time we could schedule a makeup. I don't mind. It's just that my parents will be a little upset, you know, paying for a private lesson. Well, no problem. We'll make this a group lesson. Good, Sam. Sam the man, excellent work. You felt Pepper rushing and you steadied him right back. Way to go. Good boy, Pepper. Okay, Veronica. I guess you're ready. Steady, Veronica. Pull him back. <laughs> Bring him to a walk, now. That was a mess. Jumping isn't about racing towards a fence, closing your eyes and hoping you'll crash through it. Cobalt's a terrific jumper. All you have to do is take your time, set him up properly, and he'll do the rest. Sam, let's see you do the combo one more time. Watch the way he steadies Pepper. This isn't a race. You do this every day? <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get used to it. Are you sure? Your mum was one of the best vets I've ever seen. It's in your blood. <laughs> Dr Judy Barker. Hey, Max says you and Pepper looked great out there today. Don't tell me, tell Pepper. He was amazing. Yeah, for an ancient horse. It's probably better, though. You couldn't handle a horse like Cobalt. So did Max say anything about me? Yeah, actually, something about you needing to slow down and think about what you're doing. <laughs> you think that's funny? Yes. Oh, I mean, no. Well, you know what I think is funny? Watching you bump around the course on that flea bag. Pepper's not a flea bag. And I'm a good jumper, Max says. Max says. Well, I say Cobalt and I could outjump you any day. Prove it. Fine. We'll have a jump off. Thursday, 6 o'clock. Fine. Fine.
Major news, there's a jump off at Pine Hollow. Yeah, and Sam's challenged Veronica. Good for Sam. He probably can't win, though. Not while Veronica's got Cobalt. Right. Wow, look at you. What were you doing, wrestling alligators? I think that's tomorrow. I'm so tired. I mean, it's great being around animals all day. But, come on, Carol, spill. Well, I've always wanted to be a vet. And what if I really suck at it? It's only your first day. Yeah, you can't expect to be a pro right away. First day on the job. How was it? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. I'm so proud of you. You've always known what you wanted and gone after it. I guess. There's something I've been wanting to give you for quite some time. It was your mom's. Your grandmother gave it to her when she graduated. She took it with her everywhere. I'll probably just wreck it. Well, she wanted you to have it. You might as well just keep it, because I'm not going to be a vet. <sighs> oh, 0700 hours. Rise and shine. Don't want to be late for work now, do you? I told you, I don't want to be a vet anymore. I'm not going to work. Ah, oh, that's right. You told me. You didn't tell your boss. Can't you talk to Judy for me? Uh-uh. If you want to quit, you're going to have to do it yourself. You're late. I know, but I have to talk to you. I've given it a lot of thought. We'll have to talk later. Right now, I need you to come on a call with me. That's right. I'd like to order three blue riding jackets and two in hunter green. These are handmade, right? Ah, what are you doing here? Just a second. I'm talking on the phone. What does it look like? No, I said two blue, three green. Yes, I'm sure. Maybe you should try listening. I just thought you might want to practice. What, for the jump off? Please, I could beat Sam with my eyes shut. Yeah, just charge it to the D'Angelo account. I don't know, Max seems to think Sam's good. Really good. Yeah, right. See for yourself. He's out on the jumping course now. I'm sorry I mucked up. She looks so sad. I thought she needed a cuddle. If you're going to be a vet, you'll need to be a bit more realistic. That mare needed stitches. We had to do that first. Time for a cuddle after. Come on, you'll do better next time. No, I won't. I can't do this anymore. I quit. What are you talking about? You're a fine assistant. No, I'm not. Every time I get near an animal, I get kicked or trampled or scratched. I make a lousy vet. I'll never be like you or... This is just not going to work. I'm sorry, Dr. Judy. Carol? What are you doing? Nothing. Hey! That's my double oxa. It's salt. Come on, let's get to the mall. I can't. I've got the jump off, remember? This is so immature. I mean, what's the point? So that I can wipe that stupid grin off Sam's face. Who cares? Why are you wasting your time with him? Christy, he laughed at me. He's trying to humiliate me in front of everyone. I can't believe you're so obsessed with this jump off. 
You won't even go shopping. I'm not obsessed. I'm just practicing. I guess I could practice too. I mean, with horses, not salt. Hey, Starlight. I miss you. Hope your day was better than mine. Christy, what are you doing? Um, Bach's being used in a lesson. Do you want to help me with Delilah? Didn't Max say you could write her? Since when do I have to ask? Max lets me write her all the time. Sorry, no can do. Dr. Baker would be here to give Delilah a checkup. Until then, Delilah's on vacation. Come on, Red. I won't tell anyone. Max's orders. Great. Now what am I supposed to do? <sighs> we could always use a hand mucking our stalls. Shouldn't you be forcing cough syrup down some dog's throat? Not anymore. I quit. What, what happened? Nothing. It's just I changed my mind. But that's what work studies are for, right? To see if you're cut out for the job or not. Well, cheer up. At least you get to see Veronica be totally humiliated. What are you talking about? You'll see. Beat 58 seconds. No problem. Cobalt can do this in his sleep. Cobalt's moving so stiffly. She probably didn't even warm him up. Winning. You better hope she knocks the rail down. She's going way too fast. What is she doing? Slow down, pull him up! fix you up. Is he gonna be all right, Daddy? Forget about the horse for now. Just get that arm x-rayed, okay? I wanna stay with no, him! No, no, you some good hands, Veronica. Let your Come father on. take care of it, sweetie. It's a bad fracture. But you can fix it, right? And sometimes a horse's bones can be set like a human's. The cobalt's fractured his sesamoid and his pastern. Which means what? Oh, they're the bones in the fetlock. Break them and they almost never heal. But they might. It's up to Mr. D'Angelo, Carol. 
What sort of odds are we looking at? Well, even if by some miracle the bones did heal, he'd always be in pain. Your recommendation? That's it, then. No! He won't feel anything, Carol. <laughs> you can't. There has to be something else we can do. Carol, this is hard enough for Cobalt. He's in a lot of pain, and you're only making it worse. <gasps> you can save him. <gasps> Keeping him alive doesn't mean anything if he's going to be in pain, Carol. Imagine what it would be like for a strong, healthy animal like Cobalt to live out his days standing around in a stool. But he'd be alive. A horse like Cobalt it would break his heart never to be able to run free again. What kind of vet are you? You're supposed to save animals, not kill them. Carol, I need you to calm down. Let's try to make these last few moments as pleasant as possible for him. beautiful horse in the world. We're never gonna forget you, Cobalt. Easy, boy. Won't you open up the door and Hello. let me 